one of the other points I wanted to touch on too is um, the uh, the focus that you've had on um, early detection and uh, the prevention piece and we were talking earlier about the number of um, how it's brought down over year after year the growth in number of uh, patients on dialysis mm -hmm. so do you want to talk just a little bit about where we are at with that today because you sure. were mentioning sort of a very high number 16 percent or something years ago yeah. and where where it so, sits now yeah when we first before we uh developed the bc renal agency we were at about 16 percent growth a year so every year there was an additional 16 percent of patients who were requiring life support dialysis services um and through our early intervention, through our provincial lab strategy to ensure that we have standardized testing for kidney function across the province, a, a standardized understanding amongst uh, physicians um, and referral processes to nephrologists and to kidney care teams. We've set up uh, provincial clinics around the province so that people have access to a full team that can support them with their uh, kidney disease. We've been able to uh, reduce that growth from, like I said, about 16% to, it varies, but it's probably you know, about three to five percent per year. So that's a huge impact on, on patients' lives. If you can maintain your kidney function and not require a dialysis to stay alive or a transplant, um, huge, huge impact on um, quality of life, on um, your day-to-day -day experience, um, and, and your, your, uh, um, your lifespan, basically. So BC Renal has a wealth of resources online that I think um, would be of real interest to kidney patients, to caregivers, to, to anyone that's in the kidney network. Um, you mentioned that um, there are a number of video resources uh, through your YouTube channel. Can you talk about yeah, that? Yeah, so over time, like uh, many of our materials are print materials, mm -hmm. but we also have a whole host of videos that people can access through our YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and then look for BC Renal, uh, agency, then you can find uh, a bunch of materials. We have step-by-step um, -step training videos for peritoneal dialysis. We have um, a whole host of what's called modality options videos. So it takes people through each of the types of uh, treatments for kidney disease. And if, especially for people who are at the point of making a decision about dialysis care, it's actually really helpful. It includes interviews with patients and, uh, and um, uh, can really help guide people through their decision-making process as they go. Mm -hmm. What I love, when, Gloria, as you've talked about this, I, I, I just envision, you know, the patients in the center of this hub and all around them are, you know, experts in their yeah. areas that are helping the patient, empowering the patient along their, their journey here. It's funny you should say that because I've been with the renal agency now for quite a few years, more probably longer than I want to admit, but um, we, when we developed our organizational structure, document it was very different for the time so the patients were literally at the center of the chart and then we had the their they live in their health authority so they live somewhere geographically and then we have the renal agency around that and then of course all the other structures like mm -hmm. PHSA the mm -hmm. ministry and other structures that are ultimately to support the patient so the focus mm -hmm. is always on the patient. the patient and everything that we do is it in the best interest of the patient and if not how are we going to shift that so that we can make that the case and I think, you know, so much of what we've talked about today, the tools, the resources, again, all to help empower the patient along their journey so that, you know, they're, they're, they're feeling that they're part of this and they've got um, some of the knowledge and expertise even to have those discussions with their healthcare provider. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Gloria, this is so great. I've got more questions, though, that I want to ask you. So um, I want to come back in just a few minutes. Will you hang tight with Absolutely, us? Absolutely, yes. Great. Stay tuned.